Hey guys, today we're gonna learn how to create day to night effect with the cloudy sky. This is not your typical day to night effect with flat sky that basically looks boring. And this is the challenging shot with the bright clouds in it, which is hard to suppress in JPG or MP4 formats. So don't worry, in the next couple of minutes, I will show you how to solve this problem and make your shot look awesome. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is our shot. For this tutorial, I'm using single frame to run After Effects model. Select the image layer and pre-comp it. Now create four duplicate pre-comps by pressing Ctrl D. Then off the visibility of upper two layers. On the second layer, apply curves effect and go to the effect panels. In the curves, bring down the highlights. I tweaked this parameter until I saw a better silhouette of a cloud. You can see the after and before right now, but we don't want this. Basically there has to be something to see. We can't show complete dark night. For that, we need to preserve cloud highlights. As you can see in the reference, the clouds are brighter where the moon is. So let's preserve the highlight first. Then we are going to add the moon. Select the upper layer and apply colorama effect. Go to the output cycle and select ramp gray. Create a black point on the cycle to darken the shadows. Then create a white point to preserve the highlight. Again we add another dark point to darken the sky. Now we have to adjust the setting according to what we want. Now rename its layer as alpha. Then go to its below layer and select Luma Mat. Now highlights are separated. You can further tweak the colorama effect. Now we have to bring those highlights to the cloud edge. I'm gonna use multiple curves effect to achieve that. We're gonna down the midtones and overall fat the image. Then create adjustment layer and apply tint over that. We have to take away all the colors from the original because we have to apply our own color. Now again apply adjustment layer and apply gradient over it so that we can darken the particular area. Add some slight blue tint to it. Now change its mode to add. Now grab its controller and adjust it according to the scene. Now we have to relight the main clouds. Add an adjustment layer and mask around it. Apply exposure effect to it. And bring up the exposure. Rearrange gradient layer according to your scene. Now go to the tint layer. Now apply curves effect. And only increase the blue midtones. Now go to your exposure settings and adjust it according to your scene, how lit you want. For the next part, we are adding moon to the corner to give a dramatic background. Change its blending mode to screen and apply glow effect to it and change some settings according to this scene. Now we are going to add additional clouds to look seen more appealing. Place your clouds where you want to. Then change its blending mode to linear dodge. Add a curves effect on it and make it contrasty. Mask out the harsh boundaries and place it near the moon. For more accurate lighting, go to the third layer. Then change its blending mode to linear dodge. Adjust the curve effect. The main goal here is to make brighter clouds near the moon. Now you can see before and after. It's pretty cool. You know this is all for a quick tutorial. That's why I didn't put a lot of effort on it. Maybe I can refine it more after the recording. So be creative with it. Later I just replace the single image with the image sequence. 
I can stick moon to the footage, but I will do it later. And also I will animate the custom mask and clouds if it needs. One thing to mention that I read your comments and it's just amazing and inspiring to me. I know I'm not regular with my videos because lots of things are going on. But your comments make me post new videos. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Then please subscribe to this channel for more this type of content. So till then, be safe, be healthy and be awesome.